Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So I'm a quick look at the US 30. Last night's FOMC didn't cause too many surprises. Um, not going to be any rate hike in June, incidentally, but nevertheless, you can see the US 30 dip down after having two kind of dodgy formations the last couple of sessions on the wrong side of uh, that, that historic resistance at 18,284. Uh, and that was the resistance level acting as broken support now, and that was from the very start of March. From a technical analysis pers pers perspective, Slow stochastic right there, overbought just about across the 80% level. But also, but it kind of overbought just now. It's not yet given the signal to sell, but you're seeing also the MACD histogram is beginning to flatten out there. So you can get an idea that there might just be a little bit of selling pressure today, albeit we all are already off the session lows already this morning. If we do see a continued push, uh, lower 18,112 as the next potential support. Looking at the market calendar for a quick second, uh, Chinese data came out worse than expected. That's actually caused a lot of Asian markets to uh, move a little bit higher in Hong Kong and uh, Shenzhen. And uh, what you're actually seeing there is that is all to do about it's uh, more calls for stimulus in those countries. So again, bad news is good news, etc., etc. Um, looking at the UK 100, grinding higher, long look at candles again. Uh, 6964 potential support, longer term potential resistance still remains around about 7100. Flat, all the technical indicators are flattening out. Uh, UK 100 is going to be interesting where it goes next, but certainly you do have a level there to look at at 6964. So, Japan um, it had a great session yesterday, didn't fall through today as of yet. Still early doors though, longer term potential resistance 20,868. Potential support 20,087. Technicals still show room for, for maneuver, and perhaps things are just getting going over in Japan. Uh, the economy doing okay, stocks undervalued. Um, dollar yen coming on off a little bit. Did hit 121.35 earlier on in the session. Uh, lower yen's good for Japan 225. In fact, let's have a look at dollar yen right now. You can see it's uh, it's just kind of wobbled a bit as it gets close to 121.87, which is longer term potential resistance. This can this breakout here is very interesting. It'd be it'd be great for dollar yen if it managed to break above 121.87 because then that opens up 124.42, and uh, we do have a you know a whole host of U.S. data and Japanese data still to come, um, so we might get our, our push up. Certainly, we've not seen a move like this. Uh, since the start of March, so that would be a, a significant thing to ha have a look at. So looking at Creole West Texas, had a bit of a bumpy road yesterday, only to recover a little bit towards the end of the session. Um, so zooming into this in a little bit more detail, let's just have a look at these candles. Uh, Tuesday we had a big rally in the dollar, um, that caused a, a bearish engulfing pattern to happen. Uh, longer term potential support, 56, well, we're in about $57. Uh, volatile session yesterday. It was actually off a lot more. Looking at the interday charts, it, it dropped immediately at lunchtime. But obviously, it managed to uh, to make its way back up. The grinding a little bit higher this morning. Actually, actually, the top end of its range, um, 59.50 is a longer term as as a short term sorry potential support. Longer term potential support is at 64 dollars. So looking at gold, gold's not really doing a huge amount after coming off there on uh, on, on Tuesday on that dollar rally. Um, wrong side of uh, 12.18 still. Uh, FOMC last night gave out a little bit of, um, of, a, of, a, of a move up, but um, cable's not doing a huge amount. Euro dollar, not a huge amount. Um, gold's not really that exciting until we get some more US data. Uh, and today it looks like we've got German PMI, Eurozone PMI, UK retail sales. US unemployment claims, Philly Fed and home sales. So there are actually a few things today that could be a catalyst to push this up a little bit higher. And we move on to Friday the 22nd, you've got German GDP, lots of Euro dollar stuff here. Um, PMI for, for market, um, IFO business sentiment survey, you've got more UK pub, public finance data and then CPI, so inflationary data coming out of the US. This could actually be quite uh, an, an important figure there tomorrow. So you've got a fair amount of uh, market data today, a fair amount tomorrow, so there's still lots of opportunity on the table. So let's have a look at the euro dollar. Uh, 111 is a potential support. It's bounced off it this morning. We had a slight dip below it yesterday, but we closed bang on that line. Longer term potential uh, resistance, one spot, 1642. The pressure is on the euro right now because of Greece. A deal probably will be made in time, but uh, as ever, people are just a little bit nervous that there's just so much to do. They've got until the 5th of June before they get that 1.5 billion um, dollar or euro, I, I forget, but 
big repayment they've got to make uh, and people aren't confident that they're going to have enough money to do so. So uh, do bear that in mind. And then finishing up with GBP USD, a volatile session, but the sterling managing to just about gr to, to move up in the upwards direction, long like candles. Uh, as, as fighting its way back up to the top. One spot, 56 is a potential resistance. Well, broken support, now expected to act as resistance. It needs to get above that before we can re-challenge or get anywhere close to 160, which is all the way up here. And uh, that gives you a bit of a flavor of what's going on. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of cool trade setups from our global analyst team on here. A number of clients on here posting some, uh, some setups too. And uh, make sure you make insights part of your layout. Um, news as it happens, direct from our global analyst team. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.